Welcome to my new tutorial of Trap Code Mirror Tunnel. Let's get started. Click on New Composition. Rename it to Texture. For this composition, I'm using 1280 by 1280 pixels. Frame per second is 30 and duration of this composition is 40 seconds. Add a new white solid layer to the timeline. Rename it to Wave. Go to Effects and Presets. And add a Radio Waves effect to this layer. Change Producer Point to 640 and 1288. Go to Polygon. Change Sides to 4. Now move the timeline to 1050 frames. Go to Wave Motion. Click Stopwatch next to Frequency. Change its value to 2. Now move the timeline to 1051 frames. And change its value to 0. Change Expansion to 15. And change Orientation to 0 and 45 degrees. Go to Stroke. Change Profile to, Sort of Thin. Change Color to 0, 0 and 50. Press Alt button and click Stopwatch next to Color. Right. Wiggle. 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. Change Start Width, and End Width to 100 each. Now add a new white solid layer to the timeline. Rename it to Grid. Go to Effects and Presets. And add Grid Effect to this layer. Again go to Effects and Presets. And add Offset Effect to this layer. Move the timeline to 0 frames. And click Stopwatch next to Shift Center 2. Now move the timeline to 40 seconds. And change its value to 640 and minus 7362. Now add a new composition. Rename it to Mia. Change its size to 1920 by 1080 pixels. Go to Project Window and drag Texture Comp to the timeline. Hide its visibility. Now add a new solid layer. Rename it to Mia. Go to Effects and Presets. And add Trap Code Mirror effect to this layer. Go to Geometry. Change position X and Y to. 960 and 793.6. Change rotate X to 90. Change vertices X to 5. Change vertices Y to 1000. Now change size X to 2120 and size Y to 2270. Also change bend Y to minus 0.2. Go to Fractal. Move the timeline to 90 frames. Click Stopwatch next to Amplitude. Change its value to 0. Now move the timeline to 600 frames. And change its value to 300. Lastly move the timeline to 1080 frames. And change its value to 0. Select this layer and press U key, to open keyframes. Select all keyframes. And easy ease all keyframes. Press Alt button and click stopwatch next to evolution. Right. Time multiply by 20. Again press Alt button and click Stopwatch next to scroll Y. Right. Time multiply by minus 100. Change complexity to 5. 
go to individual frequency and amplitude. Change frequency X to 67 and change frequency Z to 62. Go to material and lighting. Change nudge colors to zero. Change light fall off to distance squared. Go to texture. Change texture layer to texture comp. Go to shader. Change shader to flat. Change blend from add to normal. Turn on depth buffering. Change AO intensity to 120. Go to visibility. Change far value to 5000. Change fog start to 4000. And change fog end to 5000. Go to rendering. Change multi sample to 32. Now add a camera layer to the timeline. Rename it to camera. Change its zoom to 17.64 mm. Uncheck depth of field and also uncheck lock to zoom. Go to camera layer and to transform. Change position value to 960, 540 and minus 800. Now move the timeline to 0 frames. And click stopwatch next to Z rotation. Now move the timeline to 40 seconds. And change Z rotation to minus 6 and 0 degrees. Go to camera options. Change focus distance to 800 pixels. Change aperture to 7.5 pixels. Now add a point light to the timeline. Change light type to point. Change intensity to 100. Go to light transform. Change its position to 850, 600 and minus 840. Go to light option. Press alt button and click stopwatch next to intensity. Right wiggle, 3 and 50. Change radius to 500. Now add an adjustment layer to the timeline. Rename it to CC. Go to effects and presets. And add curves effect to this layer. Change mode of mirror layer, from normal to add. Go to CC layer and change color channel as per your need.
Now add a new adjustment layer to the timeline. Go to effects and presets. And add cartoon effect to this layer. Change details radius to 10. Go to fill. Change shading steps to 2. Go to edge and change threshold to 1.9. And change width to 4. Create a new composition and rename it to final. Go to project window and drag mere comp to the timeline. Now duplicate this layer by pressing Ctrl D. Change its mode from normal to add. Go to effects and presets and add fast box blur effect to this layer. Change blur radius to 50 and change iterations to 1. Duplicate this lay by pressing Ctrl D and change blur radius to 100. Now add an adjustment layer to the timeline. Rename it to CC. Go to effects and presets and add an curves effect to this layer. Change its color channel. As per your need. That is folks for today. I hope you like my video of trap code mere tunnel tutorial. If you like the video, please click the like button. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe to it. Thank you and have a nice day.